Okay, so this is the pattern envelope for the boxers or pajama pants or capris that we're doing. Um, it has several different lengths on it. So this one is the shortest length. This one is a little bit longer. This one's the capri length. This is a different version of the capri length. This one, see that one has little gathers at the bottom. And then this one is the longest pants. So um, if we look at our pattern pieces, First thing that we want to do is take out the layout guide. I'm going to hold this. Okay, and we're going to find the sheet that has the layout. Okay, and so you find the paper that looks like this, and it has the instructions right here. It has the, these have all the views here, and then right here it says cutting layouts. Okay, um, Michelle's doing A pants, and Lainey's doing D shorts. So their layouts are different. But now, if you noticed on the pattern envelope, some of these pants have pockets. But if you don't want to do pockets, it's fine. We just have to figure out which pieces you need. Okay, so here is the shorts layout guide. Now, one thing I want you to notice right here where it says 44, 45, that refers to the width of the fabric. Okay, down here there's another one for 44, 45 in different sizes. Okay, so this is for size extra, extra small, extra small, and small. And this one's for medium, large, and extra large. And then this one, the 5860, is all sizes. So we come over here and we look at the layout guide. And this is a picture of how we're to lay these out. Now, if she's not doing pockets, which she's not, then we don't need piece number four, five, or six. We just need one and two. And so we're going to just use one and two but we're going to kind of follow this layout guide for 40 this is for 60 inch she's on the 45 inch and she's doing size large so it's this one okay so she needs size one and size or piece one and piece two okay so now we have our hard grid ruler and we're just going to take this and line it up with the top of the pattern piece and we're going to take a pencil and draw a line. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing here. What I'm doing is I'm just measuring it down two inches from the top like this. Okay. Okay. And then this we can cut that off or we can fold it under. Okay. Fold it under if, you know. It actually would be better to fold it under just because more people than just you are going to be using this pattern. Okay, so that's going to fold under. This will fold under. And then the next thing we need to do is place the pattern pieces on grain. Okay, stop it. Okay, if you notice her fabric, she has, um, she has it folded hot dog style. So you need to make sure that you fold your fabric lengthwise before you start laying it out, laying out the pattern. Now we're going to look at, this is piece, pattern piece number one, and pattern piece, see right there, there's the one, okay, and then pattern piece number two that looks like this one. Okay, on the patterns, one of the things that you're going to notice is there's a lot of symbols on them, and those symbols are necessary for you to put your pants together properly. Now, Lainey's doing shorts, and so she, this is the line for the D, okay, that's the shortest length. So what we're going to do is just take this extra and fold it under the pant pattern and then fold that line right there. Okay. Then just then we're going to lay this out and then this one is going to do the same thing. We're just going to fold it up to the line. Okay, and it's going to be here. Now, another so here's our grain line. This is the arrow line that's on here. That's called the grain line. What we want to do is we need to make sure that that grain line is exactly parallel to the edge of your fabric. It's exactly the same distance from the edge of your fabric. So I'm just going to start by pinning that grain line in just two places. Don't pin it all the way along. I'm just going to pin it on the top and on the bottom. Okay, and that's it. Okay, then I'm going to pin this one on the top of the grain line. And all patterns will have a grain line unless they unless there's an edge that says place on fold. So when you 
get your pattern pieces out, the first thing you look for is the grain line. Okay, and you're going to place that on there. Okay, now I'm going to measure this. Since there's only two pins, it's going to be really easy to adjust. So I'm going to measure this from here to the edge of my fabric. That is exactly nine inches. Okay, then I'm going to measure this and make it nine inches. Now notice how it's a tiny bit off, so now I can just take this pin out and just kind of shift it and make it nine inches. Okay, after you get the grain set, then you can go ahead and, and um, cut the rest of your pattern out. Just pin everything down and cut it out. But you have to make sure it's on grain before you start pinning, or else you could get it really crooked and have problems with your fabric. Okay, right here, these are called notches. Notice how there's three notches there. That represents the center back seam. Okay, there, there's a knot, a single notch here. What those notches are for is they're there to help you figure out how to put your pieces together. So it kind of turns your, your pieces into puzzle pieces so that you can get them put together. And so make sure you cut your notches either. You can cut them out from where they are or you can cut them in. Don't cut them too deep because then they'll go into the seam allowance. But make sure you cut your notches out. Yep.